let's spend just a few minutes here talking about what the differences are here in in adjusting a card and, and excuse me a form and how to make that work so let's go over some of the basics first and then we'll jump right into how to move things around so stay tuned all right so here we have a basic form and if we look at the properties of the form we have here vertical and layout a vertical and horizontal if we say vertical for example it's going to do that if we say horizontal it's going to look similar but let's say we wanted to do it in two columns horizontal this data set doesn't do it but we can adjust the columns as appropriate okay as the data allows this is a very simple data set but just realize you can do that snap to columns makes that the columns all snap into position notice here that everything is back to its normal length whereas before it was different lengths so here we have everything snapping to the same length if we change the form it's just going to change all of those fields for us and shrink them back down or make them bigger so and then here of course we can change it to however many we want and however you want to set it up so let's take a look at this and see hey this looks really nice but i want to customize it the first suggestion is that you customize it with the presets as much as you can okay so if the title in this example is going to be long and you know the title is going to be long then don't start off with four columns because you're going to have to move these and then readjust these although you may say well when i'm in column one notice my due date is long everything is long i have to adjust all those so let's just keep them smaller and then i'll adjust those these two that need to be longer so whatever you want to do it's totally up to you you can do that and then we have snap on columns so snap on columns means that it's going to equally divide everything on your screen but when we do customization we're not going to want that so let's see about adjusting this and then we're going to customize it by moving it around so here if i want to adjust this i can just pull this out that's pretty easy and i can adjust within here too if i want to so so that's pretty simple but how do i move this right here for example title down it's it's a little bit of a trick notice that i'm not getting the four way there it is right there now notice when i move it do you see the little um highlight there now it's telling me where do you want me to move to and i'm going to say i want to move to the end now interesting that it just moved it to a smaller card now if i don't want that card can i move it down i can't but let's see what i can do about this so if i shrink this up now notice that the description is out so i'm going to have to move that guy back in and now we seem to be cooking a little bit better so you just kind of have to play with what it looks like notice here that i can't really move anymore because there's nothing else to move it to but i can keep adjusting and playing with this column and it'll keep moving it around now let's say that i want to move this the reference id down here again i'm going to go up to the upper left hand corner i'm going to i'm going to do it till i see those four things i'm just going to drag down on the mouse very gently and then I can drag that bad boy over there. And again, I can expand it any way that I want. Okay. So it's really pretty. You just kind of got to get used to the way it works. And then the form works uh, the way it's supposed to. Except I don't have any data in it, so you can't see it. But that's pretty much how you adjust. Remember, to adjust, you need to be highlighted on the form itself. And then you can play with the snap on column snap to columns or not snap to columns and then play with these column layouts and of course you have the the mode as well which usually we do through program but you could do this just as a new screen for example or a view screen or whatever works for you